Now we're going to add a bit of colour to our grub menu, and you do this using themes. There's plenty of places to get themes from. Um, one of them, just Google themes, but one of them is this one, which shows you a um, preview of, of some of them. And you can see they're mostly for a, a sort of gaming PC that wants to boot different operating systems for different games. Um, one I like is called Big Sur, so you select, if you want to use Big Sur, select that, and it takes you to Pling, which is actually the repository of of a lot of, well, most of these Grub2 themes. And then you download a zip file, expand the zip file, and walk all down the tree until you get to, in this case, Big Sur. Um, and we're going to need that. So, um, there it is, Big Sur. Um, you can see the background. Um, and it needs to go into themes. Um, the key part here is theme.text. And if you have a look at that, um, this is what um, s sets the menu up, um, but it includes things that you maybe don't want. Um, select an OS is useful. There's the menu, progress bar for, for, for timeout if if you have a sort of default um, option. Um, then you have key maps and hotkeys. Hotkeys. Um, uh, may or may not be useful but you'll see what they are you know when we actually display it and finally um memdisk which the the, the memory tester f which sort of looks like is going to come on the upper right near the top um which will be an icon and you click on that and you can run memdisk so we're going to leave that as it is but the next thing we need to do is modify our grub so here's the grub configuration file that we um uh, used before with NT loader installers, and what we're going to do is, oops, what we're going to do is um, put in the instructions to load the theme. Um, <coughs> so there is the theme. Make sure you get that right, and it's got a point to theme.txt, which I showed you earlier. And you have to load these modules. I'll I'll put this in the um, comments, um, and it's good to go. So save that. And what we need to do is copy this one um, to our boot disk. It's already there. <laughs> so paste. And then we need to copy our um, new configuration file. There, copy that, and replace the one that's in the that's in the um, USB. And now all we have to do is boot it. So we're going to boot it, and there's the embellished um, grub grub menu. Um, the arrow keys work just like they did before. And you can see some of the things that you might want to change. Uh, for instance, the title there, Ventoy, you can change that. In fact, I suggest you do because <laughs> that's really a bit meaningless in this um, example. Um, and then select an OS, really it's sort of um, select a menu item maybe, or just remove it. And then down at the bottom, there's the hotkey tips um, which is enter to boot, e to um, edit the entry, which is quite useful sometimes when you're debugging, and see the command line grub, grub command line, which is sort of um, uh, CMD-like, and uh, quite useful in some cases. Now those things are always available, even if the message there isn't, doesn't display. So um, really, it's such a sort of unusual thing to do unless you're sort of developing that's best to sort of remove them and then finally at the top right corner there's that um, memdisk can take that out as well so that's a um that's a um one place to find these uh themes um there is another which i'll show you show you now so this theme is um is linux mint so i downloaded the iso the install media for Linux Mint, 
and mounted as a DVD drive. And in here you can see the usual thing, Grub, Themes, and there's one called Linux Mint. Now notice it's almost exactly the same, well it is exactly the same as the previous one. The um, theme is a bit different. Um, this one actually has a logo sitting um, left or width 50%, so it's, it's sort of in the middle of the screen. Um, and of course it's <laughs> guaranteed, to be, guaranteed to be Linux Mint, so you can kind of remove that one. Um, but I like this one because it's actually a bit faster, don't know why, um, when you um, select um, items on the menu. So there's another place that you can get these themes, and um, I'll show you, well, the, the other thing um, to change is the image, which uh, in Linux Mint is a sort of roof tiles. Um, so you can change that to something a bit more, a um, bit nicer. I like a, a lake. A New Zealand lake. Um, the only problem with that is uh, sometimes the menu items um, aren't as visible as they are in some of the more refined themes. But um, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So here's my version of the um, Linux Mint one and you can see I've changed the desktop image to my favorite um, and everything else, logo, countdown message, navigation hints, uh, have all been removed. So, I'm going to boot that and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's um, the Linux Mint um, theme. And you can see I've changed the title and uh, it's obviously got the image of the lake in the background. Uh, with white um, text you can actually read all the, all the menu items. So I'll put this on the, uh, in the comments and uh, I'm not suggesting you, you use it. It's just a starting point for your own. Okay.